hi it's Monique from Creative Wife Life. I realized as I uploaded my last video um, there's no introduction which is cool but I just wanted to introduce what I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about Riley my uh, five-year-old who I will be homeschooling this fall year-round homeschooling at four days a week. Stay tuned if you want to know some more. So just some things I just wanted to point out before you start watching the video. We all know school is 180 days a week, but our homeschool, I'm aiming for 145 to 150 days per week with some scheduled breaks. Um, October, we'll have one week off. November, one week off around Thanksgiving. December through January, we'll have three weeks off for Christmas and New Year's. March, we'll have one week off for March break. May will have one week off, July two weeks off, and then August we will take the entire month off. These breaks are just much, much needed for me and Riley. Obviously the months that are left out, September, January, February, April, and June are full months. Um, besides the uh, weekends, we'll be teaching every day. Okay, so starting September 2016, we are going to have um, 12 days of teaching. Um, we're starting Riley um, September 12th. Moving on to October, we will have 13 days of teaching. I've given myself a homeschool break and Riley a homeschool break the last week of October. At that point, we would be teaching for six to seven weeks, and I thought that I would need a break at that moment, but it still gave us 13 days of teaching in October. November, 14 days of teaching. We have the Thanksgiving holiday break, which I've given myself an entire week off. And I think Riley will enjoy doing crafts that week anyway, so we'll, we'll be doing no teaching. December, it's only nine days of teaching because of the Christmas holiday, okay? So we have the week of Christmas off, the week after Christmas into the new year, as well as getting into January 2017 with an entire week off. In January, we still end up with 14 days of teaching. February, we have 16 days of teaching. No breaks off in February. March, 14 days of teaching. We have our spring break. And it actually, I put it in the same um, week as Riley's birthday. So I think we'll have fun not teaching that week and doing something really cool. April 2017, we have 16 days of teaching and no breaks. May 2017, we have 16 days of teaching. And towards the end of the month, we have another um, homeschool break. And that leads into June of 2017. In June, we have 16 days of teaching. July, because we don't have, um, I don't have a July 2017 agenda, a calendar yet. Um, it, or it's not in my agenda. It stops June 2017, obviously. I have eight days of teaching. So what I'm doing, we are doing a year-round approach, but I'm taking breaks in the summer. So July, we are only doing two weeks of teaching, so eight days and two weeks off. And then August, we're completely taking it completely off. When it's all said and done, I will be planning on teaching Homeschooling Riley 148 days from September to July 2017. And of course, that's with August completely off and two weeks off in July, as well as breaks that I have allotted throughout the year so that I don't burn out and so that Riley doesn't burn out and get sick of me. Okay, so 148 days. Um, like I said, we know that Regular school is um, 180, but I'm trying to shoot for 150. I may add in a couple days into no, 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 August, no, no, no. towards the end of August, something like that. But I think for now, that's perfect. No. 